So here I am on the outside, uh, outside of the Human Touch offices and warehouse in uh, Long Beach, California. Here to visit uh, my friends at Human Touch. Kind of get a feeling for how things work over here. I'm kind of excited about it. I've been here once before a number of years ago, but I only saw limited uh, things inside. And uh, but today I get to have a little bit of a tour, so I'm quite excited, and we'll walk you through as much as we can. So. You can see how things are done here at Human Touch. So here we are in the front lobby of Human Touch. They've even, they're even expecting me. Pretty awesome. Anyways, the warehouse is through there. We'll do a little tour a little bit later on this morning. But here we are. Pretty impressive outfit. Okay, this is the Human Touch showroom where they have all their, this is the new immersion seating, which I've not sat on yet, so I'm kind of excited to try these out. And then we've got the perfect chairs over here, HT9500, the 7450. Boy, this is awesome. Presentation table. We're going to be learning today about the immersion seating. Of course, the iJoys with the Ottomans. And that is, is that the, uh, that looks like the, uh, the 7120, but is that's that the 3300? That's the 7120. That is the 7120, yes. And then what is that next to it? That's the? That's the Manhattan. Oh. It's a wall hugger. The wall hugger, yes. And again, sorry, there's Michael and David. What was your last name, David? Potter. Potter. The, the design guy, the ergonomics specialist. And I'm going to need to get a little bit of your, I want to get a little bit of your personal history. I think that's important for okay. people to know what your expertise is. I think it's fantastic. Okay, so this is the Zero G 2.0. And that, rota that ottoman rotates also so you can obscure the calf wells if you want to have it look like a normal chair. There we go. Okay. And then when you put it in the emergent position, the whole chair body moves together. So you don't have to have as far a distance from the wall as you would with a traditional chair. Yeah, it's very close. Actually, when there's a vertical uh, object near it, you can see the motion. Right. Okay. Okay. You can see on this chair how far away from the wall it's positioned. It's just a matter of three or four inches because when it reclines to an immersion position, the chair moves down and forward. The chair body moves forward, swings forward. So it doesn't. Yeah, everything's moving in, in concert, so you don't have to worry about the thing hitting the wall. And you don't have to be 18 inches away from the wall either, so that's convenient. When you spin this around, you're also getting additional height up here. It's not quite the same as being on the leg rest, but yeah. it does give you more height. So we see the, the tilt of the seat for the zero gravity and the V-shape positioning of the where the torso is and the seat articulate. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> High fives are going right up. Well, the remote, what were you going to say about the remote, Michael? About the immersion director, so totally different than the other one, because what you'll notice there is you have a lot, a lot of similarities, but you have a couple of things that you don't have. You have BodyMap Pro, because BodyMap Pro allows you to go directly to wherever you want to feel yeah, better. I, I love that. Director. So if, if I just want to work on my uh, the thoracic region, I just push that button and it'll automatically set up to exactly to, right. to focus on that area. Exactly. Boy, that is great. That that is graphically wonderful. And then it also has a 3D controller here, so it actually you can control the intensity of the upper range mm -hmm. 
and the lower range. So when it gets into the low back to the um, lower lumbar region, mm -hmm. you'll literally, literally reach forward and grab. You can control how intense that is independently of how intensely it grabs up at the shoulder. Oh, great. So you can isolate the, uh, the intensity to one region of the spine. That's correct. That's great. And then this one has a very simple go to zero button, which allows you just to push the one button, and this one does, in fact, deploy. Oh, this, the is, the, this is the 4.0, the ZLG 4.0. Yes. And you'll see there's one other benefit that you have here because you have the completely encapsulated calf and foot massager as opposed to that one, which is calf or foot. This one is the combination, similar to the, on the, um, similar to our 9500. Okay. You know, you have the 9500. One of the best features is that combination calf and foot yeah. massager. You have that same combination calf and foot massager here. Okay. And when you push the the uh, the go immersion zero. go to zero, that will come out yes. in concert with the reclining of the chair and the tilting of the seat. That is correct. Okay, got it. That is good. That's nice. That's and that's what I was asking about on this chair that is not that available is on the on the 2.0. 2 do okay, but on the 4.0 it does do that. Okay. And that's because of the go to zero. Uh, this one also has intensity, so you can actually adjust the width. So the airbag of the airbag yes. or the. Uh -huh. Air contour. We actually aren't using contours. We actually use paddles. Oh, you use the paddles like in the 9500. Like in the 9500. This is very close to the 9500's cabin. Oh, great. Yeah, and the, people love the that. They people, love it. They love that in the 9500. They yeah. do love it. And it still will rotate as well. Yeah. So if you ever did just want to use it as a, an ottoman, you could flip it over. Right. Somewhere. Good. Very good. So it's really, really nice. So imagine having the 9500 calf and foot massager mm -hmm. in this nice compact package and a completely immersive massage. Because one thing about the 9500, you know the seat stays parallel to the ground. Right. Whereas this one, you're going into now neutral posture into zero gravity. Right. So you're getting all the benefits of zero gravity. You're getting the 9500's calf and foot massager. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're getting a 3D uh, massage engine where at the top of the range and the bottom of the range, it literally will reach forward and grab and give you a, a nice massage here in the neck and shoulder re region or in the lower lumbar. Okay. And the range of motion is amazing because this literally does go from the neck and shoulder all the way down to the coccyx. Yeah, and that is, that is innovative for a human touch chair. I've noticed on the previous models, uh, the older models, that the, the rollers went down to about waist level. So it's, this is wonderful. It's going to go all the way down to the coccyx area. That is, that is unique. And, I think it's needed. The, awesome. The nice, you have the, the, the pillow here, or you also have the waterfall for that person who really is, who likes a very heavy duty massage. They yeah. can take this off and get as beat up as they like. And you can even see when this is in operation, you actually can see it as it moves up and down, reaching forward. Yeah. And that, that 3D function Experienced all the way reclined because the yes. further back you get loaded onto it, the more it adjusts. Great. Okay, I'm in the uh, Human Touch Training Lab, Research and Development Lab, and you'll notice that. They have most of their models without the uh, upholstery on it so that you can see what goes on in the chair and the mechanics behind the massage. And you'll find that uh, through this education process, hold on Hans, can I just get a, I'll just get a shot of you. This is Hans Daly, the VP of Engineering and Research and Development. And thank you, you're, the, you're kind of the guts behind the guts, right? You're the, you're the brains behind the way these things are put together. And uh, I just wanted to show, I had Hans turn on the 9500. I want to show something here that I never knew. The Ottoman does not have airbags. Everybody has always loved the HT9500 and previous to that the HT1650 uh, foot and calf massager. It's fantastic. Well, I was told that it was paddles, not airbags, but I had no idea what that was. Well, now. I know what, it, what they are. I can see it. They're, it's like a soft, flexible rubber, and there's no airbags at all in here. So that explains why the massage is so wonderful on the feet and calves. 
you'll see that they have airbags in the in the buttock, but that's really the only place. They have rollers in the back, uh, and a sophisticated roller system, and the ottoman with these uh, ladders. And there, there's not one chair that they have in here that has airbags in the foot and calf massage. Now they have an example of a competitor's chair taken apart with the airbags, and this is what airbags look like. And my goodness, they look it looks very cheap, and it doesn't work nearly as sophisticatedly as the uh, as the as the as the paddles do in the uh, in the human touch chairs. And here's one of the uh, ottomans that the that human touch sells separately. And you can see again, you can see the paddles on the calves and in the feet. And this also has rollers, of course. And I've never seen the, the mechanical foot rollers work either. And uh, that is quite quite fascinating to me. I was quite surprised by that. We also see here the PC86, which is called the Serenity, I believe. They have an airbag system, and these airbags work in a successive motion, like waves, and uh, begin at the bottom and work its way up. And it's not really a massage; it's more of a relaxation module. But it it is the first perfect chair that has anything remotely resembling an actual massage, and then it has these strips that go from the low back all the way up to the shoulder blades and they have little jade pucks or pads or discs in here and they are heated by some stainless steel wiring uh, which in turn heats your back so the, the wiring heats the jade stones or the jade discs which in turn heat the back and uh, give you the warmth uh, while you're also receiving the wave like air bladder massage so just a fabulous lesson today in, in, the, in the inner workings of the, uh, of the human touch chairs. I'm just totally fascinated by this and the quality and the workmanship is unbelievable. And it's also nice to know that the, 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 the engineering and everything done with these chairs, oh and here's the Zero G 4.0 that we saw in one of the other videos, but all the engineering is, and all the quality control is managed by human touch here, by Hans and David and the rest of the, the crew here. But this is the Zero-G 4.0 and you can see the immersion uh, positioning without the hot pink upholstery on the chair. But uh, not, it's not, this is not a cheap wood frame. This is all steel uh, made with the highest quality material. And again you'll see bladders in, in here as well. And, and now this, uh, this chair also has a mechanical rollers in the feet and a vibrating plate in the front and in the back and the and the paddles that are massaging the calf and feet and notice how they work uh, in a kind of a uh, wave-like motion to promote the flow of blood through the extremity throughout the extremity up into up into the heart and lungs and we see air bladders in the seat but really that is the only place where we have airbags on these chairs and this is mind-boggling to me I never knew that Hans that is all new to me I appreciate you teaching me about that I also know, uh, wanted to mention that the, the rollers are 3D rollers they move in and out uh, as you adjust the intensity of the rollers on the 9500 it has a memory foam a, or not maybe not memory foam but a foam pad on either side of the thoracic spine you can see it there it's the green pad green uh, pads and when you increase the intensity, uh, use the intensity buttons of the HT9500 and of the 7450, the, the, the rollers don't go in and out, but the pads fill, inflate and deflate with air, which moves your spine closer to the rollers or further away from the rollers. And oh, there's a picture of the, of the, of the foam pad. And again, a, a complete revelation to me. I had no idea. So to increase intensity, it takes the it, it it fills the foam with air, and to decrease the intensity, it it, it or to decrease the intensity it sucks or increase the intensity it sucks the air out of the foam pads. So just a fascinating uh, lesson on, on on the science of massage chairs. But Hans, thank you so very much. I really appreciate this. This has been so educational. You're welcome. Very grateful. Okay, now this is uh, Hans's little testing station. One of his testing labs. This is where he tests the mechanics, he tests the material, tests the molding, and out of every shipment that comes
to human touch, every container load of chairs, they go through, uh, Hans pulls out a few chairs out of every shipment and unpacks them and tests them to make sure that everything is meeting the standards. Whether it's uh, the mechanics again, or the, the frame, or the, uh, or the material. But this is kind of nifty. This is like a working lab where he actually does test these things every day. It's nice to know that the chair you're getting has been tested and the quality has been controlled to such a degree. It's fantastic. This is the warehouse, Human Touches Warehouse, and as far as the eye can see, in this room, there's another room over there. If you look beyond the, if you look beyond the, uh, the boxes, there's another room over there filled with bo uh, chairs as well. But this is their main warehouse, where you can see all of their chairs. It's incredible. It's just incredible. And containers come in every day, and chairs go out every day. And they've recently consolidated their Chicago or their Illinois uh, warehouse where they used to, from where they would sell parts or ship parts and refurbish chairs. Now they've brought all that back here and they're integrating that into the main warehousing here in, uh, here in Long Beach, California. This is pretty incredible. There are the doors uh, where the trucks come in and drop off and the doors down there where they pick up and take out. So this is where all the human touch chairs come from and when you make your order this is where they'll be shipped from.